Welcome to this episode of the Land Rover that is over there. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to... Why don't I ever know what's on, what I'm going to do? <laughs> uh, today I'm going to uh, route the uh, brake line for the rear brakes. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I have a little surprise. Uh, the color of the Land Rover. <gasps> I have to paint it, sadly, uh, because when I built the tub for it, uh, yeah, that doesn't have any paint. So I need to paint the car. It's going to be a original Land Rover color that this car could have had in 1950. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. So I'm not cutting this line off. I'm going to um, put the nipple here and I'm going to put it back on the car and then route this where I want it and cut the line afterwards. I don't want to cut, I don't want to waste line and I don't want to cut so it gets too short. So yeah. This won't come anywhere um, over here. I haven't really done anything yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I going to use these. I could. Uh, I mean, the brake line will sit slightly above, and yeah, this will be protected enough. I will clamp it like this. I haven't done it here yet. This is an LED light. That's why the light is a bit strange on the camera. Uh, frame rates and stuff like that. Uh, well, this side is ready. It looks good. And on this other side, it's clamped all the way. Up to here. I mean if you look it's not really perfect but I like this one. <laughs> Even though I don't like zip ties, I like that one. <clears throat> Bit of rubber is protection. Uh, and I'm rust rust protected every hole spray inside and out. So yeah this will probably be probably be good.
So, these two are welded. And the idea behind this is to have a rubber mounts. Oh. And then a bolt going through. Uh, these are to triangulate the seals so they don't they can't move like that. And more protection for us in the car. If we get hit from the side, there's only only four of these holding this one in place. So they will snap off and so uh, if we get hit this one is hitting the frame it's only 15 millimeters between them and the impact is going through this overpowered <laughs> transmission hanging thingy and over to the other rail frame rail So hit here, bolts snap off, this one hits the frame and uh, hopefully it will take a little impact. Well the doors on this one is just thin aluminium, no protection at all. So uh, to keep the seals from rocking and a bit uh, extra protection for us. Yay! I mounted the bulkhead again and I have done a bit of measuring. The steering column is where it's supposed to be. I moved. Woohoo! You see it here? Yeah, one stud broke, of course. So I moved this. 30 millimeters over that way so now the steering wheel is in the center of the chair which is non-existing so uh, a bit more comfortable to drive leaning over to the steering wheel is not fun <laughs> and I stopped with the bulkhead because I need to get the chairs in I need to build the floor first this is a bit in the way of the floor, so I have to make a little uh, loda box in English uh, over this one in the floor. No problem really. This one is where the floor ends. Yeah. Now I realize I've measured wrong. This. <laughs> Never mind. It's wrong uh, on the right side of wrong. It's too long. Never mind. Um, so I've started to make some measurements uh, of the floor. I will build it in uh, the floor in two pieces. So it's this one sticks up over the floor. So I will go uh, one side will end in the middle of everything. So here goes to about here goes to this one and then follow this one all the way up here somewhere so the tunnel over the transmission will be quite low actually that's part of why this is sticking down that much uh, this don't bother me at all but this it's so good to have a, almost a flat floor in the car. I think this, this side will look a little bit different. But uh, this side is clear in my head how I want to build it. So. Ta-da! <clears throat> I've traced it here. Funny thing, from this to this end is what I want from here to here. 
So it was quite easy to just do it that way instead of waste material doing it this way. So I will cut, I will think two times more, measure once more and check if this actually is correct. And then I will just cut this out and see if it actually fits. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I got this one today. Look at this. I don't know the English word for it, but uh, we call it Kantvik in Sweden. You probably know what it is. So I will fold sheet metal folder. Huh. Uh, anyway, I will fold this edge up like 20 millimeters so I have something to weld the tunnel, transmission tunnel on too. Yeah. And I'm thinking of building one like this, not a square box like that. Should be quite good. <laughs> I can fit a big box between the chairs. Like half a meter big box. Yeah. I'm only going to have two seats in it. So the dog, I'm going to make a place for the dog to be on while we're driving here and um, also you can open it and have stuff in there so let's cut this one out this is it for this episode hope you liked it we have gotten a few things done today um, brake line to the rear axle ready uh, floor pan it's there and that you will see in the next episode so give it a thumbs up if you like it if you didn't like it feel free to give it two thumbs down see you